in the league. Setup wise, good in both. I mean, I got, got driver and the wedge compared to the two. Because right? setup wise, in both cases, good. Yes, arguably, it's only a shortish shot. Your arms could be a smidgen for that. I prefer to see where your arms are there with a the driver. I would expect it to be further away anyway, but the fact they're a little bit tucked in. But overall, just look at the takeaway here now, using the white line on the screen there. In less has gone by, your hands have gone this side of that white line down the middle there. You can see now as the club goes back, the hand staying nice in the shoulders there. Really, really good position now. Nicely on plane. And the right shoulder now kind of working down and under as you kind of uppercut the golf ball. Mm-hmm that way and almost throw this club sort of up to some top left in the screen as you come in the golf ball now you can see that path in the golf ball nice that club well inside the shaft which is great we've seen that club shaft before kind of over here somewhere so that's coming nicely from the inside now really nicely good good movement club now releasing through elbow down club up mm-hmm. there's a nice kind of like throwing over that left shoulder kind of sensation and you sort of held the finish there but it didn't look sort of held off like you did this and sort of scythed your arm around the corner, the old Zorro swing. Elbows nice and level, clubs up in the air. And the same then with the driver. It's obviously a bigger swing, but the arm's going back still the same. Still working under the shoulders nicely. Club going back now halfway back over your toe line. Top of the back swing, very good. Right shoulder now working down and under. Play now through your right shoulder, very good. Through your right forearm. Arms aren't so far. We did a bit of driver sessions about three or four lessons ago, and your arms are way out here. You've actually got a little bit of softening there of your right arm. Mm. Club's coming in now from the inside. Arms are hanging down better there. Release of that club through. Good movement. And your ball was started starting kind of there and just sort of drifting back. So the path was good. The right shoulder's working under. The second you get from here, where it's a driver or a wedge, and your shoulder goes in that direction, as in that way yeah. without putting a sort of negative twist on it you're screwed <laughs> you're like where am i gonna go it's like, yeah. you've got to do something dramatic to pull those arms in and you will do occasionally but not really worth doing that to be fair you want a sensation that right arm and shoulder coming underneath almost an uppercut sort of sensation like you're throwing that ball up over your left shoulder but doing so with the move but not trying to move that shoulder forward and throw it that way okay yeah. so keeping that spine angle that i think the, some of the wedges you hit in there are probably the best i've seen you swing a wedge just basically ever in terms of lessons we've had okay so angles and plane there club working back up over your your toe line there nicely that for me is really good nice sort of maintain your posture no dipping or tilting or changing the spine really really good there and the right shoulder now, this movement with that right shoulder there is really, really good, okay? Arms nice and soft, back in the golf ball, good release through, and yeah, hitting your 100 yards, 110, 120, and you were getting dialed in with the yardage, which is a good thing. It wasn't like you did one sort of 110, then one like 140, and then one like 80, they, they were like all within that kind of like, yeah, exactly. Shots that you would on the golf course take as they are on the green. Yeah. Mo- I think 80% of the shots after the 100-ish yard shots, bar on the odd one, you didn't miss it, were going to be putting. You can do that, you've got a chance. And some of those drives there, mate, 295 was your long one. Bloody impressive. And it's a new toy and stuff. It's a nice honeymoon period, isn't it? But yeah, at least that shows you what you can do with it if the body starts yeah. working in a better movement. Okay, that the shoulder works under and the left side's going to feel a bit higher. And I seriously would practice, if you can, even on the golf course, you stood there with a the golf club in your hand, just stand there, just swing with just your left arm. And just feel, almost like you're doing a frisbee shot with your left arm and finishing kind of this way. In the position, if you're not sure where it needs to be, make some... Yeah, mate, 100% get the muscle memory. Okay, mate, makes sense? Yeah, awesome. Good man, very, very good.